Hey guys, it's Vicki, and today I'm here to share with you another book haul revisit. Um, this time I'm going to be revisiting a book haul that I did two years ago in November of 2017, and I'm going to see which books I read from that book haul and which ones I haven't, and from the ones that I haven't, I'm going to pick one to put on my December TBR. This is kind of a way for me to... I guess be a little more accountable with the books that I purchase and make sure that I'm trying to read them in a timely way and I think two years is a decent enough time to read a book that I've purchased, right? So yeah, this is always interesting and fun to kind of see how many I've read. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a trip down memory lane and see what books I bought in November of 2017. Hey guys, it's Vicki, and today I'm here to share with you a book haul. Um, I haven't done a book haul in a few months, and in those few months I have accumulated a pretty nice stack here. So um, about half of them are from subscription boxes, so I'm going to go over those first, and then I'll go over the other ones that I've gotten mostly at library book sales. So let's get into it. Okay, first up are a couple from the Nocturnal Readers Box um, subscription box that I do, and actually a couple of them I have already read, so I'm just going to briefly flash those because I've already talked about them in wrap-ups and everything else, so. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through the ones I've already read because we don't need to, we don't need to rehash that, but it's funny, this, the whole like Nocturnal Readers Box thing is kind of fun. Funny? I don't want to say funny. Um, cause things didn't end so well for them, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a memory there. Nocturnal, Nocturnal Reader's Box. Okay, so the rest of these, uh, Nocturnal Reader's Box ones are, the first one being Valancourt Book of Horror Stories, Volume 2, and it has a bunch of different authors. Um, it's just like, a anthology, and so I'm pretty interested in this one because it has some pretty good authors in here. Um, we're talking about... Um, I actually read that. Um, when did I read that? Last year during Spookathon? Not Spookathon. Um, Books in the Freezer did a readathon, and I read it during that. I think I ended up giving it three out of five stars. There were some good ones, and then there were some, like, real stinkers. <laughs> so it was kind of a... It was kind of a... A mixed bag. And then this one I'm super stoked about, um, and that is Cold Moon Over Babylon by Michael McDowell. Um, I just read The Elementals by Michael McDowell back in October, and I loved that book. It's probably one of my favorite books that I've read this year, so I'm super excited to get to this one. And it's about um, a town called Babylon in the south um, that has some strange happenings going on. I've heard that this one is super creepy, and because I loved The Elementals, I'm sure I'm going to love this one. I read Cold Moon Over Babylon, really enjoyed it, gave it four stars. You guys know I love Michael McDowell, so yeah. <laughs> the next book is another short story collection, and it's called Greener Pastures by Michael Michael Wee Hunt, I think is how you say it. Um, this one looks really cool. The, cr the cover is super creepy. There's like these faceless creatures on here. Um, yeah, this one looks like it's going to be pretty good. I, I also read Greener Pastures. I'm like killing it right now. Um, I think that was also a three star. I remember there was one story in there specifically that I thought was like awesome. It was like Twilight Zone, like creepy weird. Um, but then the rest were kind of ho-hum. So yeah. And then I have one more short story collection and that is We Should Have Left Well Enough Alone by Ronald Melfi. Melfi? Melfi? Um, and I just got this one in the November box. And yeah, this one sounds really creepy um, and the cover is really really cool too. I have not read that st short story collection, so okay, that's one um, unread so far. So, yeah. And then the next two are from the same author, uh, David Wong, who wrote John Dies at the End, which I have but have not read yet. And um, these two books are kind of t uh, tie-ins to that whole universe. Um, the first one being, this book is full of spiders, and this one just looks really cool, like the cover, um, the spiders, I don't know if you can see that, and it's probably not going to focus, but, um, the spiders are, like, made out of paper, like, and they look like they're, like, bursting out of the book, which is really cool, um, and then the other one is a recent, the most recent one having to do with these characters, and that is, what the hell did I just read? Again, the cover... It's pretty cool. <laughs> um, okay, so I haven't read either of those, but 
This book is full of spiders is on my TBR this month, and I'm hoping to read it probably after the Buzzword Readathon. Um, we'll see how it goes. And then obviously I'm not going to read What the Hell Did I Just Read until I read This Book is Full of Spiders. So I'm going to put them on, to, on the unread list, but they're not really contenders for the December TBR because if I finish the, This Book is Full of Spiders, I don't know if I want to go right into this, this the third book. So we'll, we'll see. That's, that's like a maybe, maybe. So I'm and then the last Nocturnal Reader's Box book... Um, is another one that I just got in the, in the November box, and that is The Wilderness Within by John Claude Smith. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I tried reading that, I think, like the end of 2017, and I DNF'd it because I didn't like it at all. It just was not for me. I don't even really remember what the story was. It was just really boring, and I just didn't like it. And then the rest of these are... Um, mostly all from library book sales except one and i'll show that one first um and that one is career of evil by robert galbraith aka jk rowling um i have read the cuckoo's calling in this trilogy and i have the silkworm which is the second book but i haven't read it yet and then i saw this one at a um discount bookstore and decided to pick it up because i know i want to read it for sure so i picked this one up and i'm really enjoying this series i really enjoyed the cuckoo's calling I love Cormoran Strike. I think he's a great character. Anyway, um, I have read The Silkworm, and I have read Career of Evil. So now I have the fourth book, Lethal White. Um, haven't read it yet, though. So. Character, so I'm really looking forward to finishing the other two books. And then I've been hearing so much buzz lately about Agatha Christie, whom I have never read, which is like, wow, how have I not read Agatha Christie? But I haven't, so... Um, I picked up And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie um, because I've heard a lot about this one and also um, Murder on the Orient Express because of the movie that just came out. So I've heard this one's pretty cool. It's about these people that are all invited to, I think, a house, um, weekend guests to a private island, um, and one by one they start getting killed off. Um, so I did read And Then There Were None, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it was my first Agatha Christie, and I gave it four stars. And then I also, I mentioned Murder on the Orient Express. I I read that one, too. Um, I think I only gave that one three stars, though. So, yeah, the only those are the only two Agatha Christie's I've read, but I definitely want to read more. But, yeah, And Then There Were None was a really good one. And then the next one I have is Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosene, I think is how you say it. And I picked this one up because... My friend Diane in my book club, my local book club, um, has talked about this book. Like she said, this book like destroyed her <laughs> when she read it. That it was incredibly sad and left her crying. And she's always like, you have to read it, you have to read it. So when I came across it at a library book sale, I picked it up. Um, but um, haven't read Sarah's Key. <laughs> and maybe it's because I know it's going to be really sad. And so I have to be in the right mindset. Also, I tend to like to read historical fiction in the winter for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like historical fiction books are kind of cozy, um, even if they're heartbreaking. <laughs> um, they're the kind of books I just like to kind of like get under a blanket and just kind of get cozy and read. So yeah, but that's another one that I have not read. The next book I picked up at a library book sale is The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon. And this is one that I first heard about on Jen Campbell's channel. Um, she talked about this one and it just sounds really interesting and the cover is like simple but beautiful, you know. Um, and it's about a woman who is um, found dead in a field behind her house. Um, it says just months after the tragic death of her daughter and it takes place in the early 1900s. And um, Loved the winter people so thank you John Campbell for mentioning that book on your channel because I picked it up because of her and I really enjoyed it. It was a four star um, and I really want to read more Jennifer McMahon books because I've heard that they're all very like atmospheric and kind of creepy, ghosty. So yeah. The next book that I want to share is Bright Lights Big City by Jay McHenry. Um, and this is one that way back in high school I knew a girl that um, like liked this book or loved this book um, and so when I saw it, I thought I'd pick it up. And it's just about a guy that's living in Manhattan um, and just trying to make it in Manhattan. 
And I recently traveled to New York with a friend of mine um, back in the spring. We had a really good time. And um, I do have some blah, 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 Vicki. Um, <laughs> I read Bright Lights Big City during the reading rush. And I think it was a three star read. I liked it, but the writing style was kind of weird. It was in second person, which is not um, typical, you know? And it kind of didn't work for me. It was okay. It was an okay book. And then the next one I got is The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. Um, and this is one of those books that I, I've heard about over and over again. And I just, I don't know, it was just never really on my radar until recently. But it's, um, it's a story um, centering around the Vietnam War, which is not one that you often get a lot of stories from. Um, I have not read The Things They Carried. Um, so, yeah, that's a contender for sure. Um, it's one that's interesting. Um, like I was kind of starting to say, um, you don't hear a lot of stories that center around the Vietnam War. Most of the time when you get into like historical fiction and war stories, it's it's World War II. So that's part of the reason why I picked it up. So there we go. There's another unread. Okay, guys, I have two more books to talk about. Um, the first one being Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. And I picked this one up at a book sale because I read The Silver Linings Playbook um, a few years back, and I enjoyed it. I really liked the quirky narrator and how um, that whole thing kind of played out. Um, I like narrators that are a little bit different, and that narrator definitely was. And the story was good, and I liked the writing. So when I saw this one, I decided to pick it up. This one sounds like it's going to be um, quite dark, though. Um, it's about a guy who is deciding that he is going to kill his former best friend and then kill himself. Um, so I read, um, I read this book last year, I think, and it was good. I think it was a four star read. Very sad. Um, it, it was a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. The quirk factor wasn't, wasn't quite there like it was with Silver Linings Playbook, but it was good. Um, kind of heavy, um, it it talked about some dark topics that I wasn't prepared for, but it was very good four star read for sure. And then the last book is a chunker and one that I totally picked up because of BookTube. I would have never picked it up otherwise, but I've heard um, quite a few BookTubers talk about this one, um, particularly Katie over at Life Between Words, and there was somebody else. There was somebody else and she was just talking about it in one of her recent videos and I cannot remember who it was now. Sorry, um, <laughs> but that book is The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett, and this is one that is a historical fiction, it takes place in the 1100s, I want to say, and it centers around the building of this cathedral. So, as you guys know, or you may not know, but I did read The Pillars of the Earth um, this summer. I did a like a group read on Goodreads, and it was pretty good. I think it was, was it a four star? I don't even remember now. I'm pretty sure I gave it four stars. Um, it was a very epic tale. Um, it was good. I don't know if I'm going to read the subsequent books or not. I'm still kind of on the fence about it, but it was an enjoyable read. So, those are all of the books that were in this haul. So now I'm going to go and grab the ones that I have not read and figure out which one's going to go on my December TBR. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, I have four books here that I did not read on this haul, which I think is pretty good. I'm considering there were, there were quite a few titles in this one. Um, the only one I didn't grab was This Book is Full of Spiders, because I am definitely going to be reading that this month. Um, and I did grab What the Hell Did I Just Read? But I know I'm not going to read this next month. Um, yeah. So I'm going to knock this one out right away. Just like I said, I probably would. Just because, I don't know. I just don't think I'm going to want to read it um, right after reading this book is full of spiders. So. so that leaves Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosene. Um, World War II historical fiction. Tearjerker. Yeah. Um, we also have The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. Um... Vietnam War, <laughs> um, so we'll also probably be heavy, maybe a little sad, all that stuff. And then we have the short story collection, We Should Have Left Well Enough Alone by Ronald Melfi. This is um, horror. So the question is, do I want war stories or horror stories? Um, 
thinking about what I'm already planning to read for December, which I'm not going to say because you guys got to wait till my TBR video for that. Um, I don't know if it will be overkill to do either of these um, because of what I kind of have planned already. So I think I'm going to go with horror, which I know is like kind of random, but I haven't read a short story collection in, in a minute as of right now. I feel like it's been a while. So I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with We Should Have Left Well Enough Alone by Ronald Malfi. And honestly, this is um, one of the last Nocturnal Readers Box books I think I have. Um, I think. I think. So yeah, um, let me know if any of you guys out there have read this or have read this author. Uh, let me know what you think, um, what you thought of it. And yeah, I guess this is going on the December TBR. So, all right. <laughs> That's it, guys. This was my book haul revisit for November 2017. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will chat with you soon. So thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.